Let's talk about it now with a former Michigan Republican Congressman Fred Upton. So you told me to call you Fred, so I'm going to call you yeah. Fred. Fred, you've been through this before. Uh, you went through the 2013 shutdown. It seems like rinse and repeat for these members of Congress. They never seem to understand that there's no political upside to this. I mean, how much political damage could Kevin McCarthy incur if he allows the government to shut down uh, through this process? Well, the Senate's never going to pass this. You know, the, the game plan is to do what they did on the debt ceiling mm -hmm. this last summer. Muster through a bill in June, barely have it passed by one or two votes. You're then at the table with the Senate. You negotiate something, and, and it's done. Kevin, this time, the margin is four. Uh, we lost another member that, who resigned uh, yeah. on Friday because of his wife. So the margin's four. Already 10 or 12 Republicans are saying they're voting no. I don't think any Democrat's going to vote for this. So Kevin's going to be in this box of saying, well, we can't even pass it now in the House. Senate will never take it. So what is the Senate going to do? Well, they're going to pass their bill with bipartisan support, 70-some votes, along the lines of what they agreed to with the debt ceiling. Mm -hmm. But then they'll get out of town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they'll, they'll leave next week and they say, Kevin, it's, it's back in your lap. Are you going to let the government shut down and then you will take the blame because you're the speaker and right. you got this bill to keep things open. And Kevin will be able to say, guys, we tried. Right. We couldn't even get the votes on our side for an alternative. And uh, so it's real trouble. But under any scenario, this ends with Kevin McCarthy needing at least a collection he's of Democratic votes, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. And and the problem is he's got to get that twice because he needs it for the continuing resolution yeah. then and ultimately for the, the final budget bill. If he has to go down that road, A, will Democrats help him out, given especially that they've well, entered into this impeachment inquiry? And B, if he does get Democrats to help him out, is his speakership in danger? Well, it probably is. And as I told Andrea last week on this show, I said <laughs> it's sort of like the Democrats' view is sort of like screw you and everyone that looks like right, you. Right, right. Why are we going to help you? Why are we going to bail you out? And I think uh, even Jeffrey said that in the last couple of days. Don't expect this to help you out after you did this impeachment inquiry. Mm -hmm. So they're going to stay pretty loyal to the cause, and it makes it even more difficult for Kevin, who at least up to this point... He's been Mr. Houdini. Yeah, yeah. 15 ballots uh, to get to be speaker. Uh, they've been able to keep things uh, somewhat under control. But when you interject, you know, the Senate's going to insist, and so will the administration, on money for Ukraine, in my view, as they should. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got these disasters, whether it be Hawaii or the hurricanes right. that are coming through. Uh, there's no money for FEMA to do that. And here we are at the end of the fiscal year. It's it's a pretty tough, it's a tough sled. It's it's. Uh, you don't have a lot of cards in your hand for Kevin. I mean, you're a moderate by nature, so you maybe can't get into the psyche of what's going on in Kevin McCarthy's head. But it would seem to me that there'd be some benefit to finding a coalition of moderate Democrats and moderate, moderate Republicans to help him out, as opposed to capitulating to the Freedom Caucus every single time, especially because at the end of the day, they may never vote yes for this they legislation. They aren't. And they yeah. proved it. I mean, yeah. Kevin came th through with the impeachment inquiry last week and the, the, they didn't even the care. Same yeah, thing. Right, it's yeah. like, okay, what are you going to do for... It's yeah. like they keep changing the goalposts. Yeah. They've done that all year long. And at some point, the clock hits zero. And for now, it's September yeah. 30th. And against the backdrop of all of this is the former president, Donald Trump, who yeah. kind of flirted with the idea that a shutdown would be okay. Well, and so, did, and so did Pence. Yeah. I mean, it's like yeah. they're, they're going to they're gonna pile on and they're going to talk about deficit spending and all of that. So it is, it is a nightmare scenario um, without a lot of... A lot of exits. Okay. All right, Fred Upton, thank you for being here. I appreciate you it, bet. sir. Thank you.